morning. It's again time for our daily two-minute uh, Bible reading and thought. I'm going to read um, from Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. May God add a blessing to the reading of the Word. Sheila Walsh wrote in a little uh, devotional, Five Minutes uh, with Jesus, that when she was a child, she would uh, she lived in the coast of uh, Scotland, along, to, along the ocean, and she would walk up and down uh, the beach with a little bucket, and she would collect her little treasures that she would find with the different shapes of shells and pieces of colored glass that had been rounded by the surf and shiny. Uh, find like a tennis shoe, and she just even found a lot of rubber ducks, however they somehow got into the water. This one time she walked clear up to the harbor wall and then back to the little cottage where her grandmother was waiting for her. And she said, Grandma, can I have another five minutes, please? And Grandma said, just five minutes, and then we got to go. So she went back down to the water, and she looked to the left and then to the right. There uh, the sun caught something and made it shiny, and she reached down in the sand buried about half in the sand, was this diamond uh, engagement ring. And uh, they took it to the local authorities there by the beach, and uh, after a bit, nobody claimed it, so they returned it to her, and she found this really precious treasure. And she put all of her treasures into these little uh, suitcase-type things. And uh, now, as an adult, she'd take it back out and look at it. And she made a remark that I think is really something. She said, you know, this is kind of like reading the Bible, isn't it? said, we th often think, you know, that we read one or two, three, four verses in the morning, that we're all set, and we've got the Word of God sealed within us. She says, but you know, maybe we ought to take more time. Maybe we ought to go back. It's like the Bible's an ocean. You're not going to find everything in one, two, three, four, or five verses necessarily. But it's got to, we go back and we research and research, and she says, I guarantee it. You're going to find a treasure in there. There's going to be something that gives the joy. There's going to be something that, that makes the heart calm when it's not calm. There's going to be something that speaks to us the more we go back and search that ocean of God's Word. So let's, let's think about that today, and let's search the ocean of God's Word and find the words that uh, give us the joy for this day. May God bless us. Amen.